Hey trumpeters. So we're going on in the beginning band first warm up and uh, we're skipping down to the skips, okay? We did the scale, went up to the ninth note. Uh, we worked a little bit on the articulation to uh, make the difference between the tenudos and the staccatos. Remember staccato? Yeah, sta okay, no, never mind. You know what I mean. And so now we're going down to the skips. We're always going to start on the C, go up a note, and then we're going to start skipping notes. Not just like on the other parts at the beginning, you got to know what note you're going to, right? We got, we got to make sure we're solid right here on the fingerings, okay? So when we start on the skips, we start with C. And then we go to D. That one's easy, but make sure we pull out on, on the slide when we do the D. Go back down to C, but this time we jump over to E. We go back down to C and then to F, and then you get the pattern that we go up one note after we go down to the C, okay? There's a lot of air involved. Once you start getting to the upper register, the higher register of the notes, there's a lot of air that we need to be pushing in order for the notes to sound good, okay? So we're trying to get the correct note and not crack it, not miss it, and then make it sound good at the same time, okay? So I'll play a little bit of it from the beginning of the skips, okay? We still have our metronome set at 90 meets beats per minute, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready. Uh, uh. little by little that's fine we don't we don't have to play the whole thing the first time okay so right now I went up to the G and that's the easy one because you go C to G right there's no fingering again if you can have that band made tuner in front of you it really will help um, for you to see the note that you're playing if you're playing it correct it'll tell you and of course uh, that's always the goal we want to play the correct note on anything that we play okay so we can start off just by doing the first two notes Right? One, two, ready. Uh, uh. that a couple of times and now we do we can do C to F a couple of times one two ready uh. and you make sure that you don't miss those notes then the next ones you'll have that same um, habit of making sure that you're doing it correctly you don't want to be guessing again you don't want to be guessing here you, you, there's a, a lot more to be worrying about and you got to push a lot of air okay so go ahead and push pause for a little bit and then we, we come back we'll work on the C to A okay work on that for a little bit okay guys so hopefully um, you did do it a few times um, chop should be feeling pretty well. We're not going very high yet. Okay, so now we're gonna continue on from C to A. Okay, C to A, and then the next one will be C to B natural. Let's make sure we always say B natural because it's that second finger, and then we're gonna do C to C. Right, the jump is gonna be C to C. That's a big jump, a lot of air for embouchure, lots of air push. Stay relaxed in the middle. Always relax, but keep your embouchure firm. And then the last one will be C to D. One, two, ready. 
comes the big one. See the D. One, two, ready. One, two, ready. So we're practicing only those couple of notes that jumps by themselves as much as we can, okay? Again, if you're cracking, it's okay at first. You just you just gotta keep pushing the air. Okay? It's developmental. That means you have to get stronger for it to get better. You have to get stronger here. And then of course you gotta get stronger in your diaphragm to know how to push the air out to get those notes. Okay? So it takes a little bit of time. Just always remember, staccato it. No, no, I'm just kidding. Just remember to push the air, okay? All the time. So go ahead and take a minute, practice C to A and see how far you can go. Okay, um, hopefully you can make it up to the D and push a lot of air when you get there. Okay, so take a minute for that. Go ahead. All right, guys, so now I'm going to play the whole thing. You're more than welcome to play with me if you can, if you want. If your chops are feeling okay, all right? This is the skips. One, two, ready. Uh... before the thirds okay right when we're gonna start the thirds that's where we stop that's the whole skip that one's a chop buster you gotta work on it quite a bit to make sure that right here you're getting nice and strong okay but firm not tight because we want to stay relaxed right here in the middle you heard me kind of crack this the d2 okay it's been a long day for me too and it sometimes it happens so in my case i would start from c to g one two ready uh...
So that's the problem area, right? C to G getting up to the D and then just going back down so that you keep the air going, okay? So this exercise is just a really patient one. You gotta be patient and, and you gotta blow. You gotta push a lot of air to hit the high notes when you make those, those jumps. Of course, it's just developmental, guys. It's gonna take a little bit of time to develop the strength to do it cleanly. But the more and more you do it, the easier it'll get, okay? And then, of course, the biggest goal now, once you get past these skips, is start from the beginning, from the scale, go through the scale, do the arpeggio, and then you do the articulation exercises and then go on to the skips, okay? That'll really develop your strength really well, okay? So the next time we'll see you guys, we'll do the thirds and we'll go from there. Thank you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day.